You know, I felt like, you know, I said pregame that our, that our defense had slipped a little, and I, I'm, I'm glad the guys responded. I, I thought uh, our defense was, was excellent um, all around. So uh, credit, credit to the players for, for uh, uh, kind of bouncing back from that Houston game where, like I said before the game, I didn't, I didn't think we were, we were sharp defensively. In the third quarter, and we've talked about third quarters before as well, 41 points, what was the difference there? Well, yeah, that, that's where you're like, you know, we, we, you know, in a pr decent first half, and, you know, it's a struggle, and that third quarter is going to decide, you know, where the game goes. So, again, we made it, we made shots, too. That, that helps a ton. You know, I think we scored 41 points in the third quarter and, and kept our defense sharp. And, and, you know, like we talked about before the game, now, you know, closing it, closing a really good team out. That's 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 the tough part. So I I thought we were handled that with uh, a plum. I thought we were, uh, uh, you know, really good to finish it out. Even when you have played well defensively as a team, usually forcing turnovers though is not. It's not your forte. It's not the way the right. defense is. I mean, have you made? And I know you addressed it a little bit in camp, but I mean, have you made changes in that endeavor to try to get? more turnovers and is that some of that what you saw today or were they just not as crisp over on the other end as they normally would be no i you know i th i think i think having ronde back in the lineup that that helps a little bit you know you have your more active players i, th I thought generally you know we went from a low activity game uh, against against the rockets to we we're just much more active I, it's hard to judge whether that was some of that was on them or us. It wasn't any scheme change. It wasn't anything we did differently. Yes, it's something we talked about before the season. How can we, you know, be a little more active and 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 cause a few more turnovers without without extending our defense too much? So um, it'd be interesting to look on film how how all those turnovers happen. But def definitely, are we at a higher activity level? Uh, two things about Embiid. Uh, first of all, what did you do in the second half to contain him? I think he only had three points in the second half. And how did you adjust? You know, it seemed like people were uh, throwing up unnatural shots when they were trying to go to the rim early. And then it seemed like you adjust and put, it, put together a couple of runs. Yeah, well, I think the, you know, first strategy was try to run them. You know, run. They played yesterday and, and, and try to get... Joel in, a, in an up and down game, and I thought Jared kind of set the set the tone with that, and, and uh, you know that that's kind of our advantage. You know, we can, I thought that pace, you know, going back, you know, having an up and down game, I think that helped them. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if it fatigued them, but that was that was part of the idea. I, I also think we did a. We did a pretty good job crowding the paint and helping. Uh, I think in the you know, first quarter we left we left our guys out on the island a little bit, and I think we we, we brought more help to the ball, and you know took a little risk, you know you, you know giving up some threes, but um, I, I thought we did a good job crowding crowding him. There was a play in particular in the second quarter where uh, Karis Levert you know got by his man made a layup you were really excited i wonder if you sort of realized how excited you were in that moment and you know what did you overall you know how what have you seen from him so far this season well i yeah, it's funny I, I thought he set the tone defensively with his activity i thought he was all over the place i thought he was getting deflections um he, he had a you know great rebound in the, in the in the second quarter where he came across the court and grabbed it and you know, I kind of talked to him before the game that, that, you know, the challenge for him is, is to be really good on both ends. Like, we just don't want him to be a one-way player. Like, you know, uh, you know, he's got a lot of talent. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. But I, I was really, um, you know, really pleased with his, his defensive effort. I thought, he was, I thought he was really good on both ends. And just excited that, uh, uh, excited probably that he drove the ball. That, you know, that we didn't settle for a, for a contested shot and drove it and got to the rim. Uh, um, that was, can't remember the particular play, but that's what I think. think. Uh, teams that switch a lot like Philadelphia, that's sometimes where you get into turnover trouble. You only had nine today. Mm. Uh, what was the key to limiting them today? Yeah, I think we had a nice balance between, you know, when we got that mismatch on the switch, we drove it and, and, and got to the rim. Uh, and then, you know, when we didn't, you know, like the, the mismatch or, or we didn't hold it, I thought we kept we kept moving it and and that helped to help break them down a little bit but um and and better dis decision making overall especially in transition you know sometimes we get a little too fast and we make you know make some some you know uh unnecessary uh, uh 
or, or bad decisions on the break. So I thought we kept our pace high, but we, we made good decisions on the break. We've talked about Rondé just kind of building him back up uh, almost 30 minutes tonight, 21 points. And you talked about the game be, being very active. Did he fuel that? Did he take advantage of it? Because it's, it's his kind of game, right? Yeah, yeah, fueled. Yet I, I agree. It, it was on both ends. I, I thought defensively he was, he was good. And then, again, he, he got out in transition and, and, and took it to the rim. That's his elite skill. Uh, you know, his elite skill is driving it and, and getting to the free throw line and being a defender, defender rebounder. So I thought he kind of stayed in his, his, uh, his role and uh, uh, really helped us a lot tonight. Kenny, in the second half, D'Angelo picked up his play. I was curious what you saw from him that changed, and uh, was there anything that you feel like he can carry over from that going forward, as you mentioned uh, pregame, talking about consistency and whatnot? Yeah, no, I, th I think, uh, yeah, yeah. now that the challenge for him is to do it do it on this road trip and, and back, you know, keep keep doing it. Um, I do think of the flow of our offense and the fact that we got out more, uh, uh, we got out more in transition. I think that helps them. Um, you know, sometimes when we get stagnant in the half court, they lock into us, they lock into him, they, they get into him. Uh, but I thought we did a great job uh, uh, with our pace and then, and then getting him free in flow. And, and I, I thought that was a difference tonight. And, and uh, this is the second kind of a bounce back win. You had the one against the Pistons and this one. So what does that say for the team being able to come up with these big wins, you know, this, at this point in the season? No, I think, listen, I, I think that's, I have tremendous respect for that team over there and the coach and, and how good they are, how talented they are. So it's, it's a very good win for us. And, and uh, um, you know, we could have we hung our head after, after, after Houston, and that, that was a tough loss for us. Um, and in the first half, I, I don't think we were tremendously sharp either. So I was, uh, you know, a little concerned, like, oh, man, this is, this is a little bit of a hangover from the Houston game. And then, you know, like you guys said, the third quarter, we came out and, and, and really busted it. And uh, uh, a very good win for us. And now, you know, this road trip's, this road trip's important. You know, we, we got to, you know, um, we have some winnable games. And, and uh, it'd be important for us to bond on the road and, and, and uh, uh, continue to, to progress. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everybody.